Hey guys, welcome back to another flashlight review. And today we're going to be looking at the Convoy S8 with the CSL NM1.F1. So it's the one millimeter by one millimeter LED that has a green theme. And if there's one thing I can't say no to, it's a high candela, truly pocketable flashlight. And after collecting about a hundred plus flashlights, this one hands down is the highest performing and the lowest priced pocket thrower out there. It doesn't sacrifice on quality either, like I'll show you a bit later. Now the version that I have here, as I mentioned, comes with a green Osram W1, which might not be everyone's cup of tea, but for long range spotting and self-defense purposes, definitely can't be beat, especially at this price. So let's have a look at what you get in the box. Now it's very basic with Convoy, you just get the light itself, with the S8, you do get a clip, which is definitely a luxury with a lot of convoy lights out there. The box itself, I mean, it's just so basic. It's just a little white box on the side there. It tells you the specifications of the LED and the model. It does come with a lanyard as well, which I've popped back into the box. I don't use lanyards majority of the time. Okay, so here is a bunch of my other convoy flashlights, just for a size comparison. Got the S8 here on the right. You can see my Convoy S2 Plus, which is basically the same size. S6 as well. These three, I'd say, pretty much the same size, very pocketable. And as we move over to the left, we've got the Convoy M21B, which is a 21700 cell flashlight, and the Convoy M2. So these two are definitely a bit chunky, especially due to the bezel size. Okay, so a little close-up of the Convoy S8, and Convoy does a top job at making relatively high-quality lights at such a low price point. And... Sometimes I wonder how do they actually turn a profit? Machining and design, as you can see, it's nothing to be excited about, but it does have a nice, clean military feel to it. The S8's definitely very downplayed. And the anodizing, I'd say, is between matte black and shiny. Feels slippery. Thankfully, there is some knurling on there, which helps with, with the grip. And you do get this clip as well, like I mentioned before. Nice bonus clip because you don't normally get them with Convoy. Single tail switch, rubber tail switch there on the back. Looking down the head of the flashlight, you can see the CSL NM1.F1 or the Osram W1 in the green. And this one at around 5 to 6 amps produces well over 1,000 lumens. So it's definitely more powerful than the white version. And you've got that glass lens as well on the front crenulated bezel. I wouldn't really bother using this to break a window or anything like that. It's just an, an aluminium one, but yeah, you could do it. You could probably get away with it. So there's a couple of different versions of the S8. There's the 12 mode grouping version and the four mode version. So I get the 12 mode grouping version because this allows you to select from all these different modes and you don't have to worry about it accidentally switching into any of the other 12 modes because it's such a long process to actually switch the light into another mode. You basically have to turn on the light, press, the button 20 times it starts to flash and you can from there select between the 12 modes one thing to note that's quite important is you can actually set this light to 100 percent output all the time i think that's on the final mode grouping the 12th mode so every time you turn it on it always goes to 100 percent now there is the ability to turn off mode memory now this is actually what i do on all my convoy flashlights i set it to the third mode grouping which always starts on 100 percent then it goes to 35 10 1 and 0. 1%. Now when you turn off memory mode, what that means is that every time you turn on the flashlight, it's always going to start in 100%, no matter what mode that you used last. So I find that very useful for tactical purposes, always making sure that when I press that back button, it goes to 100%, but it also allows me access to those lower modes as well, which surprisingly I do use from time to time. You know, when I enter the door of my house, sometimes I'll put it onto the really, really low modes and it's still useful for short range so here is a silly mounts test that I ran with the Convoy S8 with the NM1.F1. This is on 100%. And you can see about one minute of runtime where the total output is between 90 to 100%. It does start to trail off around the two minute mark. Where the light goes to about 50% output. I ended the test around 10 minutes. But a minute of runtime, especially with such a small configuration like this, is quite impressive for the 100% mode. So here's a second ceiling mounts test that I ran on the 35% mode, and you can see it pretty much holds its output for the duration of the test at 195 to 100%. I ended the test just after 16 minutes. So here are a bunch of measurements I took with my Opel Lightmaster Pro, and you can see the most interesting 
part of this test is the 100% mode. I got 617 meters of throw. I was so surprised that it was able to throw that far. It's just incredible. The light of this song is normally the only lights that can throw this far with a smaller profile like this, are uh, LEP flashlights. And these are, of course, switch on figures, like I mentioned. And, you know, on the 35% mode, 438 meters of throw as well, which is definitely very respectable still. The Convoy S8 with the NM1 F1 produces an intense green hotspot, very small hotspot, does have some limited spill as well, but you do have to lower the mode down into maybe 10 to yeah, about 10% or so to use it up on close range without you know, getting too annoyed with the hotspot. So some considerations to be aware of, it's Convoy, so there is no onboard charging with some of their flashlights, and the S8 is one of those. There's no battery included as well, so you do have to get one separately from the Convoy store. They do sell them separately at a pretty good price, and you do also need to get an external 18650 battery charger. Another alternative is that you can use another 18650 flashlight that has onboard charging as your charger. Now, the second consideration is that there's limited spill. So I did mention this before, but that is expected for a dedicated thrower, you know, up close or on walks. You can still lower the brightness and it's quite usable. It's just not going to produce a lot of flood like something you know, having the SFT40 or something like that. So overall, 600 meters plus of throw is almost unheard of for a light with such a small bezel. And the S8 with that green W1 even beats the Lumintop Ant-Man. It's a similar size and rated at 590 meters. And not to mention, just, you know, it's a five times the price being an LEP flashlight. So yeah, if you're looking for the best budget priced mini pocket thrower, do make sure you consider this option. It's one of my EDCs that I carry around with me frequently. And yeah, go ahead and check out the video description if you want to get one of these. If you have questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I probably have missed a few things in this video. If you liked the video as well and you found it helpful, do me a big favor and click the like button because it's one of the few ways that YouTube recommends my videos to people. And if you want to keep up to date with latest flashlight reviews and news, make sure you subscribe. All right, so I've got the Convoy S8 with the CSL and M1 F1, and this is on 100%. And it's, I mean, this thing is just incredible. The amount of throw that you get out of this tiny little pocket light. I mean, I can see all the way into the bottom of those trees. I can see there's a person just walking around near the bottom of the, those trees in the back as well. Don't know what they're doing out there. This is a golf course and it's in the middle of the night. Okay. It almost looks like they have a light or something. There's a couple of people over to the left. And what I can do, I can just go through all the different step modes as well. So can't really see this mode, but fifth, fourth step, which is about 30%. Even on 30%, look at that. Manages to reach the back of those trees with ease. This is the perfect little spotting light, high candela light that you could use for so many different purposes. And I mean, always, this yeah, just incredible. You can see the beam in the night sky as well, very easily. I'll go for a little bit of a walk and you can see especially the spill isn't the greatest. So you don't get any spill really near your feet, probably another, another 10 or so feet in front of you is where the spill starts. Okay. Visibility wise, if you can handle the green beam, there's really nothing else that compares to this besides an LEP flashlight. Absolutely amazing long distance performance. But yeah, as you can see, the spill is very isolated just to this general circle around the hotspot. 
step down the beam to 30%. I think that's 10%. I'm not sure what this is, but you can't really see what's going on. Probably around 100 to 30%, 30 to 100%. There's even a mode at 50% as well that does quite well. Very impressive. All right, we've got the Convoy S8 with the CSL NM1 F1, green LED. And great long distance performance, like as you can see here. You don't get a whole lot of spill, but there's enough to illuminate, illuminate the path. And I'll have a bit of a walk and just show you what the spill pattern looks like. But yeah, it starts about maybe 10 to 12, 10 or so feet in front of you. Yep. Really useful for spotting anything long distance. If you're coming up to a dark area like that, especially you can see behind the trees what's going on inside, all the way through to the back. Pitch black in there. Thirty percent mode. Back to a hundred. 